good morning and welcome to your Sunday Gardener. I'm John Collins along with Carrie Engel from Valley View Farms. Good morning. And uh, this morning we're going to do gardens in miniature inside. I mean, it's winter time and we need this inside <laughs> project. And this is a, a, a little tiny garden. Yeah, this is much smaller. You can do fairy gardens in various sizes. You can do them indoors or out. We've chosen to do one inside in sort of a terrarium setting. Right. And we've got we, drainage in the bottom. Right, we've got the, stones in the bottom. Stones and there's no hole to let the water out. And then out, we have a layer of charcoal under here actually to help it filter any water that does kind of end up there that shouldn't, you know, because we always tell So we don't have weird stuff it. growing Exactly. Right. And then just regular potting soil. Okay. So we've added a few little fun things in here, a little uh, lemon cypress. Uh, we've got some stones in there. Uh, let's see. Let's a little birdhouse here and yeah. whatnot. And we've already pre-planted one plant. We do have a time element on this uh, little program. And what's nice, most of these smaller terrarium plants don't have a tremendous amount of roots, so you really can get them in right. there pretty good. Um, and just plop them in and we'll come by and dress it up later because that's what we do. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so... Got some room in there, John? What is All this right. little guy? That's a uh, rabbit's foot fern. Oh yes, he does have the funny stuff at the bottom exactly. there. Exactly. You can so see there the little use. rabbit's foot. Now the in honor of it being February, we're going to add a couple little... A little boy and a little girl. And where do you want to put the little girl over here? That's you have the little boy. Or a little boy? Okay, yep. alright. So he's right there. And then the other fun thing to do with this is add stones if you want to. Um, you, you know, if it's a fairy garden, you can add glitter and, and use it as fairy dust. Okay. Uh, we can take moss and just set it here and there to fill up some of these spaces. You can even take or some mulch and do the mulch. same. And you can really do something pretty fast and easy with all of this um, and still have a nice, nice look to it. So how much water does a thing like this need? Well, it depends on the plants you use, like anything mm -hmm. else. So you do this with succulents if you're going to be a person that's not going to water it all that often mm -hmm. and not use all that much water. In this case, we have actual tropicals in here. So we'll probably uh, check it for water at least every couple of days until we kind of are comfortable with how much it takes. And it depends. If the sun's shining, they're going to need more water. Right. If you have some mm -hmm. cloudy weeks, you're going to be just fine just the way you are. Right. And how much sun do you need with something Again, like Again, it this? depends on the plant. So um, choose all your plants so that they go together fine mm -hmm. and, and you'll do great. So it depends if you have, if you want low light plants, get low light plants. Yeah, and that's pretty. And, and of course these will grow a little bit, so that'll be nice. And a lot of these, you know, the, the uh, mm -hmm. creeping fig we have in the back will act as a ground cover. And, and all these will continue to grow. So we start off with smaller plants. You might have to go back and move some of them out eventually. But it's great fun for the kids. It's a lot of fun for adults too. And all I, of our yeah. fairy garden classes, we get a little of each. Yeah, and, and kids love these little figurines and little, uh, like this is a park bench and everything. They, they well, love and, stuff like that. And there's so much stuff available. So you can get little benches, you can get tiny little flower pots. Yeah, it's like putting together a dollhouse. It's just really, really cool yeah, little Except things. it's a garden. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. What a lot of fun. Something to do on these cold winter days. And, you know, and next Sunday we'll talk about more of what to do on cold winter days with your indoor gardens coming up on Sunday Gardener. We'll see you then. And if you have a garden question, just send it to Sunday Gardener, WBAL TV, 3800 Hoover Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland, 21211. Also go to our website, WBALTV.com.